fear of rejection. Where does it come from and how to heal from fear of rejection? What to do if you are afraid of being criticized or judged by others? Hi guys, my name is Elena Semenek, I'm a psychologist and this is my YouTube channel, Psychology of Happiness. Welcome! If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing because here I share my professional knowledge and my experience working with clients and I share here free self-development webinars about love, relationships, money, self-esteem, uh, healthy boundaries, emotional eating, and lots of other interesting topics. Uh, all links uh, you can find below this video. And today is a Q&A video where you, my viewers, asking me a question and I create a short video answers for you. So today question came from a gentleman and he was asking, Hi ma'am, my name is Brian. I'm a psychology student at Midlex University. I am really dedicated to studying psychology and I believe it to be my passion. But recently I have been getting a really scary thought. I am overweight. I am not physically good looking. Basically I am fat. I am scared if I won't be employed because of me being overweight or if people won't come to me because I'm fat. So I wanted to ask you, does working in psychological field means you have to be in a good shape? Hi, Brian. Uh, thank you for your question. I believe that your concern about being overweight translates uh, your hidden self-confidence, your hidden self-esteem. You are afraid that people will judge you based on your physical appearance and not by who you are as a person. You have a hidden desire to impress people, uh, a hidden desire to be a good person. And in psychology, this is called a good girl syndrome or good boy syndrome, also known as a savior syndrome. The desire to become a psychologist might be also part of this syndrome. This is the desire to help people. This is the desire to be important and valued by others. Same as the desire to become a doctor, a firefighter or a police officer. The insecurity that comes from being overweight reflects the fear of rejection. Perhaps there is a real story in your childhood when your parents or other kids laughed at you because you were fat. Or maybe they laughed at you for another reason and rejected you. So I highly recommend you uh, learn more about good boy syndrome, good girl syndrome and work on your childhood trauma. You need to heal your relationships with your parents. In 99% of cases, people who are looking for acceptance and appreciation in their current relationships were criticized a lot in their childhood. They did not receive enough love. Unfortunately, they did not receive enough care and support from their parents. So now they have this fear of being rejected, of being criticized and of being judged by others. Once uh, those kids grow up, they are transferring those feelings to other people around them and trying to heal this trauma by recreating the scenario from their childhood. So they are trying to resolve their internal conflict and find a satisfying outcome. They are trying to find a new ending for the, for the old story. Unfortunately, in most cases, this does not work because nobody can give you the type of love that you're looking for. You're looking for a parental love and parental support. No one can give this type of love to you, even your adult parents. The past is in the past. You cannot change it. Uh, the, the past is gone. But what you can do is you can heal your emotional wound by going through therapy and working on yourself. And for that purpose, I recommend you to watch three of my free videos. The first one is entitled Why Good Boys Fall for Bad Girls. The second is 
uh, desire to help others. And the third video is stop being nice. The nice girl syndrome. It's the same as the nice boy syndrome. Also consider watching my free five self-development uh, webinars uh, for the weight loss vaccine online course. Uh, this course is about healing your emotional trauma and uh, how we use food to suppress our emotions. Exactly about the overweight, uh, the fear of being overweight that you're talking about. Uh, so before this online course, I released five free self-development webinars. Please watch them and consider taking the course itself. Also, another uh, course for you to consider is called Program Yourself for Success. In that course, I teach uh, how to reprogram your brain from detrimental limiting beliefs and how to overcome your fears and your challenges. And of course, if uh, you would like to work one-on-one, -on -one, I will be happy to help you through my online private sessions. So if you find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have your question that you would like to submit, please do it in the comment section for this video or go to my website and submit it through my website. You can also send it to me in Facebook Messenger or on Instagram. All the link for the free webinars, for the online courses, for everything that I mentioned in this video, you can find in the video description. Again, my name is Elena Semenek and this is Psychology of Happiness. If you have your questions, please share it with me. I will be happy to answer them. Until the next time, bye.